Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to look at using hotkeys to help with layout. Now, if you haven't spent a lot of time with notation software, you might think, why would anyone need hotkeys for layout? But in the world of professional music notation, you end up spending a significant amount of your time fiddling around with the layout, and so hotkeys can be a crucial tool to cleaning things up and putting them in order quickly. And I'm now going to start with the most useful ones. Alignment hotkeys. To align two or more objects vertically, press Ctrl, Shift and C. And to align two or more objects horizontally, press Ctrl, Shift and R. You must learn this. I can't begin to tell you how much cleaner this will make your scores look. But of course, this is most useful when combined with the selection techniques we learnt in the previous lesson. Shortcuts to align objects only really make sense if you also have shortcuts to quickly select those objects. Perhaps the next most useful shortcut is Control shift n This shortcut resets note spacings. When you're working in Sibelius, you will often notice that sometimes the program creates unusual spacings between notes. Maybe you yourself even put them there. This shortcut resets all of that in one swoop. Two similar hotkeys are functions that also allow us to reset different objects. Control shift p will reset an object's position, and Control shift d will reset an object's design. These functions are very important to producing a professional looking score. Often when I look over amateur scores, I'll see the same type of object, for example a technique, always floating around in different positions, styles and sizes. These hotkeys can very quickly clean all of this up. If you'd like to change the way text appears, ideally you should do this globally in the Edit Text Styles window. This will keep your text systematized and your score looking nice and clean. Another very commonly required hotkey is the key X. This will flip an object around the other way. This works for note stems, articulations, slurs and similar objects. Towards the end of a project, Two Sibelius features that you will frequently require are Make Into System and Make Into Page. The shortcut for Make Into System is Alt Shift M. This will make the selected staves into a complete system. And the shortcut for Make Into Page is Control Alt Shift M. This will make the selected passage into a complete page. If you'd like to make a page break, select a bar line and hit Control enter If you'd like to make a special page break to create a blank page, click on a bar line and hit Control shift enter This will bring up the special page break window. There are also a couple of hotkeys that allow us to move our staves. By holding down Alt and using the up and down arrows, we can move a staff up and down. You'll notice that the staves below the selected staff also move accordingly. If we add Control to this, so Control Alt and the arrows, we can move the staff up and down much quicker. To move a staff independent of all other staves, hold down Alt and Shift while using the up and down arrows. We can now move it without affecting any of the other staff positions. And again, if we add Control, so Control Alt and Shift whilst using the arrows, we can move the staff in bigger steps. Often we see Control being used to jump things a greater distance. For example, as you probably are already aware, if you select an object and use the arrow keys, you can move that object in different directions. However, if you hold down Control while using the arrow keys, you'll notice that the object takes greater steps and thus can be moved around much faster. Using hotkeys, it's also possible to hide objects in our score. If we select a passage of music and then press Control Shift H, we can make it invisible. In fact, 
We can even hide an entire staff by selecting that staff and pressing Ctrl, Alt, Shift, H. But this will only work if there is no content in the staff or if the content is hidden. Now the last shortcut for this lesson is a little bit unusual. You probably won't use it very much, but it's good to know that it exists. By holding down Shift and Alt and using the left and right arrows, you can expand and contract the space between notes in a selected passage. Of course, if you're not happy with the way it looks and would like to reset the spacing, as we learned earlier in the lesson, simply press Ctrl Shift N. As always, I don't expect you to learn all of these shortcuts, at least not straight away. But I do highly recommend that you write down the shortcuts that are most useful to you and learn to use them. I personally use almost all of the shortcuts from this lesson on a regular basis, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you will find them as useful as I do. So that's it for this lesson. In the next lesson, we're going to be looking at customizing your shortcuts.